guys what's up everybody leo tuko hapa CBD and guess what tumepata the one and only buga buga habari mambo iko best in the world mambo imechemka tumeona kidogo kidogo pale kwenye internet a lot has been going on na tumeona buga ame trend sana maybe for the sake of the viewers wangetamani kujua what really happened ilianza je na ikakuaje kwa nini exactly kwa sababu najua i trend so many uh, times for different reasons so mm -hmm. nataka kujua unauliza exactly kitu gani ndio kwa faida yangu na faida mtazamaji mm -hmm. yeah. so kuna the video yenye ulionekana with the bahatis mm -hmm. you guys were having uh, fun kwa club mm -hmm. yeah and what you were kama you are very close to diana kuna time you whispered something on her ears mm -hmm. yeah that one yeah unajua kwa club kunakuwa na biashara nyingi zina happen na Um, whispering kwa masikio ya mtu kwa sababu labda mziki iko juu sana si ni ukweli na um, everybody knows ama maybe you guys didn't know that uh, me and uh, Bahati and Diana we are friends for so many years you know I'm actually uh, godfather wa their first uh, baby unajua heaven that is yeah. so um, we are we are good friends we are having fun we are dancing you know it's, she's like my sister you know when you when i'm with my sister i can i can hold you I, you know i can I, i can hug you you know the only thing i cannot do is uh, do maybe mambo ya mambo ile sasa ya mzee kabisa kabisa ile ya mzee peke yake lakini kushikana ku, kufurahia hata tuimbe pamoja unajua that one you can do with your sister sijui so, labda kama nyinyi unajua kuna watu wengine tu labda ni wapumbavu tu au na akili pungwani ndio wanadhani labda nikikushika hivi sasa umekuwa bibi yangu si ni ukweli sasa hiyo ni style tu unajua kama umelelewa mko na upungufu wa mapenzi kwenu muone baka kama mbona ikukaribia anataka kufanyia vitu mbaya lakini imaanishi namna hiyo mm. so that was ndiko uh, kaka interview kidogo tu love nikuite Ah, mm, mm. uh, labda wakati mazungumzia unafikiri yes. nini na uh, Bahati? I think hiyo ndio part watu wengi hawako wanaelewa. Labda mm. hii relationship yenu na Bahati ilianza lini? Je, ni kitu ya hivi majuzi ama ni kutoka kitabu? Zamani yeah. zamani ni miaka nyingi imepita. Hata hata niwaambie kitu moja unaona hii show mnaonanga the Bahati. Yeah. Hiyo nilikuwa tulikuwa tumepanga na Bahati. Tulikuwa tumepanga mi na Bahati kitambo tulikuwa tuifanya hiyo before they end in TV na wapi na nini. Ni mimi na Bahati tulikuwa tumeanzia hiyo kitu zamani ni miaka kitambo hiyo si ujira ni miaka ngapi sijui ni zimepita kama miaka saba sio ni kitambo so alafu tulikuwa tumejuana hapo awali kwa mambo mingi so unajua ni watu tu ni wanadamu ni wambea unajua wanafikiriaga mambo mingi wako na roho za ushetani eh? na akili za kishetani kwa sababu at the end of the day tulimwambia sherehe kwa ungwana hao wakaingia gari yao vile walikuja na mimi nikaingia kwangu na watu wangu basi na kila mtu akaenda bana na fuck kaa usiku eh pale jana tuliona kasipula kiwon bahati akiambia bahati chunga sana KRG once ameshikana na Dana na sasa hivi pia ako na Mado ah Dana anaenda sina sifa za kunyang'anya watu wanawake wao mimi naheshimu bibi za watu wasichana wale wako single wako over One billion. Siwezi kumaliza hawa hata nikisema mimi ni kwa ule number one kiuno moto. Haiwezi kushinda, si ni ukweli? Mimi sijawahi kunyang'anya mtu demu wa mtu. Nimekuwa na heshima kabisa na watu na commitment zao. Ndio naweza nikakuwa niko na pesa naweza kuinfluence mpaka nikaleta corruption kwa nyumba yenu, lakini siwezi nikachukua bibi wa mtu, especially mtu rafiki yangu. Mimi nachukulia mabibi zao kama madada zangu watu wangu wa karibu lazima mimi ni wachunge vizuri nikiwapata nikikupata kwanza unazingua una mzao wako mimi hata tutabugombana mbaya sana so hivyo ndio ile kitu unafaa unafaa ujue aha kia mm. juu mezungumzia uh, kwamba kwenye ile video maybe mm. sababu the music was too loud labda ulikuwa una una, una whisper something to Diana mm. lakini watu wengi walikuwa nadhani labda you uh, bado mko mnaimba ile ngoma sababu ngoma ilikuwa inacheza pale hivyo ni mambo imechemka mm. uh, na wengi wakaanza kusema labda ni sababu kidogo labda mlikuwa maji hapana hapana tulikuwa tuna story tunakwaga na story nyingi sana eh alafu uh, sasa ukikumbuka kitu nyo ukiambia rafiki yako ata ata check ama labda tuko tunasengenya mtu kwa sababu hata sisi ni wanadamu pia si tunasengenyaga watu tunasema huyu fulani mbona ako vile mbona huyu ako vile so naweza kuwa nikukumbushe kitu 
unajua alafu utacheka sasa nikikumbuka kitu yenye ita kufanya ufrai yani fry ya ongezeke mbona nisikwambie hata kwa sababu tuko disco ah tulikuwa tumeenda kujivinjari na tulikuwa kwa club ya rafiki yetu bas alikuwa ametualika na mbona sisi tukose pia sisi ni wanadamu pia tunaoga na pressure tunaenda ku release pressure kama watu wengine tuna enjoy maisha kabisa tuta dance na hata mkitizingua tena tutaenda next weekend to, to dance then uh, so maybe some people were thinking at you guys were seeking media attention for what reason mi sitaji media attention na mr kangi zingine mnichunguza nyinyi mnanichunguzaga sana mi i don't need attention um, my, um, already mi niko na watu wangu niko na followers wangu niko na ma, ma fans wangu diehard fans niko na family yangu sasa media nitafutie nini attention ya biashara gani sitaki kuuzia wembe sasa ni ya nini so maybe mkiji enjoy pale did you expect and they go viral at i didn't know who recorded the video actually ni dana ali record aka post mi siku post ni kama mimi post kama nilikuwa nataka attention ya nini ya biashara gani uh-huh. yeah. it's not the first time labda umejipata kwenye his side au kwenye mitandao sio yeah. wakati uliona mara ya kwanza yeah. ulichukuliaje ulifeelaje what the first thing you did i did not feel anything kwa sababu mimi yeye ni kawaida ya maisha yangu pressure mimi na deal nazo kila siku mm-hmm. unajua Uh, siwezi kwa sababu mimi i know the truth unajua kitu ile inakoacha unakuwa free ni the truth once you know the truth it always sets you free actually hata jana tulikuwa na bahati tumeshinda tukiongea the online mpaka kama mpaka saa 3 walikuwa wametuma watu na gari yake kunifuata tufanye shughuli moja mbili tumemaliza na tu tumemaliza ha na labda mlizungumzie hii issue yote because ya nini na tulikuwa kwa sisi wote mbona tuanze mbona sasa sisi tuanze udaku na na rafiki yangu hata kuhusu shemeji na na tuliwachana kwa baba tukaambiana bye au wakaenda kivyao mimi nikaenda kivyao tena turudi twende sasa tuone kuchunguza video eh na tulikurekodiwa sisi wote ama huko muona hapo sasa hiyo ni udaku tu ya watu wadaku na wambea bas waendelea kufanya umbea wao na sisi tunaendelea na maisha yetu oh, speaking of bahati as a close friend tuliona hapo jana kuna video waliweka pale kwenye mtandao mm. and uh, watu walisema walikuwa wanafanya tu watu wa kidogo mm. maybe did you see that like ilikuwa something good to put up on nje kwa internet ni maisha yao ni wananchi wa kohuru mtandao ni wao wana mafanzu wao wana familia zao Kenya wata decide i have no authority over them you understand hata mimi saa hii nikisikia mtu anguo hapa niende paka kule chini nikiwa tukutup bora mimi na familia yangu tumeelewana na mafanzu wangu sasa watanikatana na nikataza dunia hii amna mtu anikataza tu na unajua labda tu watu wengine wataona ni kama nimekuwa mwendo wazimu wataja wata maybe wataja shit na mimi wengine na wengine wa wa wakataa kuja shit na mimi it's a free world you have to understand that dunia mali imefika saa hii whatever people say it's none of your business you cannot control that hata wewe hata kuna mtu tu labda hajua atakula nini kama wale wenda wazimu wanatukana online hawajua atakula nini lakini hakinitusi mimi siwezi enda kumpiga kwa sababu sina time ya kuacha maisha yangu watoto wangu biashara zangu wapenzi wangu familia yangu ati mimi niende kwanza ku na mtu mpumbavu ambaye ajielewi umeelewa so If you don't fit in my caliber siwezi kushuka mimi nianze kuja kubishana na wewe na kuona kama mpumbavu. Oh, speaking of uh, wenda wazimu wenye wanakutukana online tuliona pale kasifula ilirusha maneno ienda dab even calling you mm. akasema wewe za zalchi wao na Diana maybe what's your relationship with Kasifula? Kasifula ni mwenda wazimu tu ni mtu tu kwa sababu yuko ana support rais na mimi ndio najua mimi ni msanii wa government tuko tu sasa tuko tu yani ni kama tuko kwa toxic relationship pamoachani kwa sababu ya labda huyu ndio akona nyumba na mimi ndio niko na gari tunahitajiana tu ndio tukae mjini tu you get the whole point but uh, mimi simpendi mwanzo ni mfupi eh kitu ya vili yako na mapua mbaya ni kubwa kama kufuli umeelewa lakini tunawanunga pamoja pale hivyo tunafanya kazi tu unajua za nyingine ukisikia mimi na huyu tukifanya kazi ndio mimi naambia watu usilete feelings mjini feelings belegea mama yako na watoto wako ama girlfriend yako kuja tu akili na eh, kuja mjini na akili tabia tutakufunza hapa lakini zikiwa potovu tutakusema sisi kuja tu na logic tuna tuna deal kama mimi na wewe tukifanya kazi tutapata kitu tugawane lakini sikupendi tugawane kwenye tunagawana kila mtu aende biashara zake si ni ukweli hivyo ndio town iko sileta ma feelings hii in Nairobi sasa ningependa kumwambia nini kasipoi sasa kitu wa kumwambia kwa sababu nijaribu kumuongelesha ikashindikana ni mpumbavu tu 
ijapokuwa anaelewa kidogo maisha lazima ukae upande ya serikali hiyo tu ile kitu inamsaidia otherwise ni yakwani shamtandika ngumi nyingi sana hii mji kisha imtandikia pale siku moja nitumbile alimsaidia Uh, we've all seen a uh, you are among the parents when you want to co-parent uh, maybe how has it been um for me you know me i'm very i'm i'm uh, na wisdom mingi mimi siwezi leta feelings pale sifai kuleta feelings wewe ukinikosea na nakuhitaji sina mwenda kufuata kwa hiyo kama mimi ni kizana wewe na tukosane mimi na wewe imaanishi tumekosea watoto wetu so nita nita have kwa just kidogo feelings zangu na ile mambo nilifanyia to accommodate a responsibility ya mtu fulani kwa maisha ya huyu ambaye namjali zaidi ya mimi na wewe vile tuna differences zetu so watu wako na ile mambo walifanyiana kwa sana hivi ama labda ideology yako ya sahi ya ndani na maisha yangu ya sahi tunaweza kuwa tumepishana labda hivi na hivi lakini haimaanishi we stop being parents you still you are still the mother of my kids i'm still the father of your kids weka feelings chini kidogo to deal na ile biashara iko kwa meza basi baada ya baadaye ukitaka tena kurudi kunikasirikia nikasirikia lakini tukifanya ma still on parenting tulio na mtoto juzi ali graduate that's mm. congratulations mm. maybe how did you check this ama ulionaje kuna mtoto ako in another milestone ni furaha ni furaha kubwa kwa, kwa sababu kila mzazi anatakia mtoto wake maisha mema zaidi yeye vile aliishi kwa sababu everybody works hard to see their kids enjoy privileges that they never saw or they were just dreams but maybe your parent did not offer you that ama they maybe they gave you version ingine unataka kwa upgrade version yenye walikupa so uh, for me i celebrate everything hata kukula lunch mimi na enjoy kabisa hata mtoto wangu akikuja akijifunza bicycle nikiona uko poa lazima celebrate kwa sababu ya nini dunia imeja a lot of negativity people don't want to see others even smile kuna hata mtu tu uki wewe uki smile tu inamuuma sana anatamani tu uko na lia njaa kila saa so for me i celebrate mtoto wangu ame toka class moja kwa sababu amekuwa kindergarten amekuwa hiyo hiyo leto nini hiyo darasa ndogo ameenda nyingine so anaenda sasa kufunzwa mambo tofauti tena graduate next paka mwisho ya dunia pale rafika na uwezo wake kama mimi nitakuepo kwa sababu mimi niko hapa miaka 650 basi tupambane tu kwa hali ya pilipili na ndimu tuna enjoy sasa ile tunafurahi tukikasirika pia tunasema alhamdulillah ni Mungu alitupangia hayo parents ni labda akia jiko na watu ambao wangependa kujua of course uh, you have a sons ambao wako of age uh, history ya co-parenting maybe has it maybe at a point affected them akakuuliza swali moja mbili kusiana na hilo mimi sijawahi kosa jibu kwa mtoto wangu akiniuliza mama yuko wapi nakwambia yuko wapi anafanya nini unataka nini wewe yani anything kwa sababu sijawahi wapa sijawahi wapa um, hard time mimi mimi nime sacrifice vitu nyingi sana so that them they can enjoy you know uh, there is no day mimi mwa kufanya kitu kwa sababu before i make any decision i have to think ni kwa position yangu alikuwa position ya huyo mtu alikuwa position ya mtu mwingine ningefanya nini ningekuwa the other side of the person nitafanya nini nikiwa mimi so lazima niangalie 360 kwanza ndio ni make decision nikiwa peke yangu so i've never made them in a they were put in a difficult situation yenye in our affect ama in our heart you know i don't know but hawajai uh, kunipata kunijai niulize swali hawajai kuuliza swali kwa sababu na kwa hapa yeah KRG, there are a lot of people criticizing your music uh, and then apart from that peer to you know little mambo imechemka maybe starting with those criticizing your music alafu tuambie after mambo imechemka which what next criticizing what um, you criticizing what do you mean exactly what are they criticizing? Tumeona pale kidogo Andrew Kibe ame aliyeka ngoma yako leo akasema there's no meaning haina maana like something of the sort. Sifanyi Kibe Kibe ana akili ya kuelewa muziki wangu. Yeye ni mzee hata ndevu zimekataa komea hivi zimemea pande kingine. Sasa mimi nitaongelea mtu haizi panga hata hiyo kitu yake tu kidogo. Sasa huyo ni nani kwanza ndio nimuongelelee Kibe. Alafu pia apart from ya pili Kibe ajui ajui hajui dancehall sasa ataelewa aje mziki wa dancehall una natalese sasa hiyo siku achemshiwe bangi kilo 50 ya kunywe ndio ataelewa hiyo mziki hawezi elewa kibe ni mzee kitu ya kwanza ayuko kwa hizi group yangu ni mzee mimi sasa unaona watoto wangu 
wanasizaga mziki zingine sielewi lakini imaanishe wasi mziki ni mziki ni kwa sababu mimi ndio mjinga sielewi sasa kibe ndio mjinga aelewe mziki wangu kuna watu wana dance kwani hawa watu over, over 91 million ambao wako kwenye channel yangu ni watoto wa kibe ama ni kibe ni wanda wazimu eh si ni mfanzi wangu na mimi sifanyi mziki mimi ninaambia kila siku mziki wangu sifanyi kila mtu wa mafanzo wangu mimi nataka ni inspire generation si ya watu wengi <laughs> nikuulize hapa town sasa hizo kiangalia hivi range rover ni ngapi hapa town wewe hesabu sio mafanzo wangu ni kama range rover ama ni kama ma, ma, ma high end yani mimi nafanyia watu ambao wana akili unaweza kuwa labda sasa hii haujapata pesa lakini you want to be something big those are the people that i talk to sio wapumbavu wame walilemewa na maisha kila pahali watu wa online mwenye i expect people wa in the online market wako watu wadogo kama nyinyi wakati mlisoma shule juzi kama internet imezunguliwa si mtu alifunzwa akue carpenter awache carpentry akuje anza kufanya kazi ya tv kama kibe no 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 ishi kwa maisha yako ako na kitu ito midlife crisis mademu wa miaka yake walimukata aka shindwa hako iku wata na mchoto haja wai kuwa na permanent job haja wai kuwa na anything in particular sasa yeye alishindwa na maisha kabisa mimi hata nilijaribu kunileta interview nikakataa kwa sababu sio kwa level zake mimi mimi na interview na watu kama nyi you have a long way to go yeye ameisha yani unaona ni kama ile mkate kwa mkate kwa duka na imesha expire hauwezi nunua hata kipao bure unajua kikula utaumwa na tumbo ni kama huyo sasa kibe umeelewa so him ameisha mileage yake kama ni kama ni mafuta kwa gari tanki kwa empty anaisha nyinyi ni wamupia wewe unaona in 5 years kumbuka leo ukuje uangalie interview sura yako itakuwa inang'aa zaidi ya kibe itakuwa imekunjika kama mattress imemwagiwa maji <laughs> ameuliza swali la what next uh, yeah, after mm -hmm. mambo imechemka yeah. i have a lot in store mwambie aanze kujiuliza sasa hii una shida gani shida una shida gani ni ngoma yangu mpya inatoka Aha, una shida gani samba. una shida gani inatoka on 27 itakuwa kubwa kwa hiyo hii mambo imechemka umemaja bahati labda si bahati darasa eh. mimi unaweza tuangushe kana moja tu line moja staki ni wapatie lines zangu wataiba waende kusema ni zao wangoje kwa mziki nimewapata title ya ngoma inaitwa una shida gani hiyo tu wangoje tarehe shida saba na dondoka alafu saa sikiliza ile maneno nimeongea kwa hiyo mziki kama akili yake inaweza fikiria on his own creation unajua acha nikwambie kitu moja watu wajui msanii si mtu wa kuchezea msanii ni mtu akona akili kwa sababu ya nini we give life to things that were not there yeye hawezi kukreate kitu yote, hawezi buni. Yeye kwanza mi nifanye makosa kwa ubunifu wangu, nifanye kosa ama ni nifanye kitu fulani, akuje aone ndiye aongelele kenye mimi nimefanya. Nataka yeye aende atengeneze kitu yake tu, ya kivi yake akuje aseme hii ni mimi nimesema. Kama vile mimi nimesema mambo yamechemka. Kenya hii 40 million people plus hakuna mtu ajui yeye nikusema nini si ndio na ni mimi mwenyewe sasa atengeneze tu kitu yake moja alete na mimi kila mwaka nawaletea vitu nawaletea vitu kila mwaka nikiwaletea nawaletea slogan za kukaa kwa akili yako ukisema una fry tu maisha uh -huh. mm. uh, kuna yale mambo ambayo yalikuwa yanavuma kwenye mtindo wa jamii wakisema kwamba kuna watu ambao walijitokeza wakasema wewe ni baba yao mm. na pia ukakubali mm. ukasema kwamba utawapeleka shuleni mm. na pia tukizungumza yule mchana mmoja ambaye alisema kwamba anenge university yeah. na ukasema kwamba utangekuya school fees na kila kitu unaona tatizo yani yeah. ilikuwa kiki ama ni true story <coughs> sasa unajua um stay complicated yeah, hizo issues eh? kwa sababu ambao nilio promise kwa kupeleka shule tayari wako shuleni ambao nilio promise kwa support kwa maisha wako 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 vizuri hakuna mtu ana complain uh, that does not mean mimi ndio biological father wao unajua kuna mtu anaweza kuja wao bana nisaidie kwa fulani fulani nisaidie pale naweza na usaidie mtu si lazima ukwe baba ya mtu ati wewe ulimzaa kuna watu wengi sana hapa hata wameoa madem walikuwa na watoto na huyo mtoto akakuja akasaidiwa na huyo jamaa mpaka akasawa taba shida kama alikuwa na shida na baba yake na nani ukamsaidia kitu cha muhimu sisi wote ni wanadamu sisi wote tumeumbwa na Mungu bas tuendelee kukaa duniani hiyo ndio kitu cha muhimu si ni kweli pia mambo mengine yote ni poroja za mitaa 
na watu tu wamewataka kusumbua watu kitu ya muhimu ni kila mtu aishi maisha poa apate msaada kwa mtu ambaye anahitaji msaada kutoka kwake bas mambo mengine ni kile ya chura watu wapoepoe hapo aha kimalitimjini tu ongeleshe fans wa bahati ambao maybe walikasirika eh walikasirika wakafikiria labda unapokonya daana waambie waendelee kukasirika zaidi wakasirike sana tena kesho nitawaudhi Eh, kwa sababu ya nini misi, bora mimi na mimi na bahati uko sawa hawa mafanzi wake mimi siwajali mimi siwajui hata ni kina nani si ni ukweli ni watu wa wana faces i don't know them they just fans i don't know where they live wako kwa mitandao huko kwa masimu zao na ma zao mimi i don't care about them